A rocket firing is an awesome demonstration of tremendous power. I think we should find out how it works. Dolly shots are a great way to add interest to your footage. However, you'll quickly find most of them are quite expensive. Even the small ones can cost well over $600. For more information, check the video description below. For the build, you're going to need several things. In terms of materials, you'll need two angled aluminum strips about 36 inches long, one cheap skateboard, preferably new, one strip of sturdy metal approximately 1 inch by 8 inches long, two quarter inch locking nuts for the skateboard trucks, seven quarter inch bolts, nuts, and washers, one piece of wood that's 36 inches long, 12 inches wide, and a half inch to 1 inch thick, some scrap steel or aluminum to cover the ends of the aluminum strips, two small zip strips, and one can of black paint to make it all fancy. For tools, you'll need a drill and drill bits, either one or five minute epoxy suitable for metal, a metal file, metal shears or a hacksaw, and a screwdriver. Some things that are optional, although highly recommended, are a small reticulating arm with an adapter to match a standard quarter inch bolt, and lastly, a camera clamp. Please operate all tools with common sense and follow all safety precautions where and when applicable. Here you see the rolling part of the dolly. I bought a cheap skateboard from Walmart because I wanted the wheels to be as smooth as glass and find the old ones just don't roll as smoothly. All you have to do is take the trucks off the board and join them with a stiff strip of metal as I have done here. I used a locking nut and drilled a hole halfway between the trucks for the optional mounting arm. The mounting arm is not crucial but will add a massive amount of flexibility in how you shoot your dolly shots. This one is made by Manfrotto and with a simple twist of the large knob it loosens all the joints to give you a variety of heights and angles that you just wouldn't get without it. I had to add a small brass adapter that can connect to a quarter inch bolt. You can find these at any camera store that will sell this arm. Let's now take a look at the base. I picked up two angled strips of aluminum and drilled a few holes into the crease along the strips. This keeps them facing up in a V-shape which gives guidance to the wheels while keeping resistance to an absolute minimum. Next, I added a quarter inch bolt to the center of the base with a washer so it could be mounted to various platforms. This is the optional mounting clamp. It gives you the added benefit of clamping the rig to a tripod or other surfaces. It has a threaded hole on the top that accepts quarter inch bolts, just like your standard camera uses. By screwing the center bolt to it, it now can be used on a tripod. I don't need tools to tighten it since the rig only needs a few turns to be secure. Twisting the knob at the back of it will open the clamp as wide as you need it. Here is one of my bigger tripods, but any decent quality one will do. All you need to do is close the clamp onto the tripod head as tight as it will go. You will need to angle the head slightly since the clamp has a bit of an angle when closed and the platform needs to be more or less level when operating. Turning the tripod around, you can see how it attaches. Here it is again from further back. The next thing I added were metal strips to the dolly guides. I punched some holes for one zip strip on each end to act as a stopper for the dolly. All you need to do is cut some scrap metal in the shape of the V and drill a hole for the zip strips. Then epoxy them to the ends of the aluminum strips. Be sure to wear eye and hand protection while in a well ventilated area. Once this is done, you can file off the excess for a clean look that won't catch on your clothes or cut your fingers. This tripod allows for a twisting motion that can add even more to your shots with a practiced hand. And that's it. You now have your very own dolly to make cinematic feeling shots. Let's take a break and look at a few examples. <laughs> 